All right, hurry back. I, I uh, mounted a, a, an Orion 80 millimeter refractor equipped with a, a Mini 50 and SSAG and a DSLR camera. Uh, I'm going to show you how easy it is to balance this. First thing I'm going to do is balance it in declination and the switch. I unlock it. Is this, uh, <laughs> is this free? They have 50, uh, got 55 millimeter bearings on a 35 millimeter shaft on both the RA and the deck. This thing spins like a jewel. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing now on RA. Again, the RA switch is on the opposite side of the mount. Uh, this counterweight I have on here, by the way, is not is not the, uh, the, the counterweight that comes with the mount. The one that comes with the mount is white. I'm using my Mini Tower Pro counterweight. Approximately the same, approximately the same size. And for imaging especially, Those are the slews. Uh, they're quiet. Uh, they're not objectable noises. It's just, I like it. Under these covers for the declination and the RA axis, you do have an adjustment screw to adjust the, the worm mesh on either position. Uh, it's never really locked solid, only because, because it's spring-loaded, it always pushes the worm gear back into the correct mesh in both axes. Uh, if you do want to adjust it, Four Allen screws, take the cover off, loosen the set screw on the adjusting nut, adjust the brass screw in there out a little bit. You go from mild to wild. Uh, I find that the setting from the factory is fine. It's, it's, it, it's set up perfectly. But if you do want to play with it, it's certainly, you can certainly do that. Uh, that brings me up to another point. Uh, guided with this mount, I had, I had about an hour of clear sky, and I got to uh, guide with it a little bit. Came up with a max PE. Uh, of under 8 arc seconds in RA, and the average PE was 3.5 seconds. This mount does have periodic error correction training. I imagine with some PEC training and application of doing a, creating a PEC curve, that this mount is going to be capable of about 2 seconds, uh, 2 arc seconds peak to peak. It did have an average PE of 3.5 arc seconds, uh, according to uh, PEC prep, which is the program I use to, 
to load the uh, PHD log file in and convert it. So there you have it. That's the Ioptron ZEQ25GT. It's a radical departure from a German equatorial mount. I think this is going to really evolutionize the, the mount industry. The mount, the hand controller is the 8408. It's the same hand controller that's used uh, on the Smart EQ mounts, both the, the Smart EQ and the Smart EQ Pro. The polar alignment menu, for example, for alignments, is a dream. You've got polar align, solar system align, one star align, multi star align, and pole star position. You hit the pole star position, it tells you the position of Polaris at that particular time. You look through your polar scope, you put Polaris where it's supposed to be, you're ready. If that's difficult for you, Ioptron also has an iPhone app. Uh, it's $1.99. That's the app. The nice thing about it, it shows you Polaris' position and where to put it in the polar scope radical with a little green uh, X right in the center. It tells you your local time, your longitude, your latitude, and the position of Polaris. It's a nice way to double check the settings in your hand controller as well. If you're not good with military time or you don't really not know if you're north or west or whatever, just copy these settings into your hand controller, save it, and, and that's done. You'll always be right. So, there you have it. Again, looking forward to using this mount and doing some astro imaging with it. I did take a four a four minute guided image with it on an extremely bad night. Uh, I got a terribly blown out image, but I did have round stars. So hopefully, in the next week or so, I'll, get, I'll be able to get out uh, again with it and uh, do, some, do some more testing. So in the meantime, uh, check Ioptron's website for the availability and the, the pricing on this mount. Uh, from what I understand, it's going to be available without a polar scope as well. Without a polar scope, $799 with the excellent pre-aligned polar scope, $849. That's got to be a deal. And it puts it head to head with the Celestron AV, uh, new AV, except this mount just has so much more. Uh, I really like it. I've had it for several days now, uh, putting it through its paces and uh, looking forward to future up. It's not perfect. No mount is ever going to be perfect, but as this mount gets into the field with firmware, software updates, and mechanical updates from my Aptron, I think they have the winner. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.